Learn how to solve this percentage question so that you'll get better deals when buying things. Jane bought a mobile phone from ShopX at a 15% discount during a sale. The price of the mobile phone was $800 before the discount at ShopX. Brad bought an identical mobile phone from ShopY at a 20% discount and paid the same amount as Jane. What was the price of the mobile phone before the discount at Shop Y? After reading this problem, you'll find that we are basically comparing two things, the price of the mobile phone in Shop X and Shop Y. Let's take a look at how much Jane paid for her phone first. What do we know? We know that the price of the mobile phone before the discount was $800, but how much did she really pay for the phone in the end? Well, that depends on how much discount Jane received. What is 15% of $800? Let's calculate that by writing 15% as a fraction and then multiplying it by its original price of $800. Did you get $120? Now that we know Jane got a discount of $120, we can find the actual amount that she paid for the phone. When we subtract this discount from the original price, we get $680. But why is it important to know that? Well, that's because Brad bought the same phone from Shop Y at the same price as Jane. However, he paid $680 only after a 20% discount. So how can we find the price of the phone before the discount at Shop Y? Let's see, if Brad had a 20% discount from Shop Y, this would mean that he paid 100% minus 20%, 80% of the original price at Shop Y, right? Now that we know 80% of the original price is $680, we can find how much 100% of the original price is. All we need to do is to divide $680 by 8 to find how much 10% of the original price is. Then, we can multiply this by 10 to find 100% of the original price. Looks like the price of the mobile phone before the discount at Shop Y is $850. Are you confident about solving percentage word problems like this now?